Jorge, unbelievable, absolutely unbelievable. You walked into that arena with a lot of booze. You walked out with silence. What does it feel like to silence the O2 arena? If anybody heard my interviews prior to this, I, I said I live for that. And that's to take the breath out of everybody so you can hear pin drops. You can feel the electricity when you're coming in there. And uh, it's amazing to, to silence people. It's, uh, it's a drug that most people haven't ever tasted. Man's try to duplicate it, but they can't find the recipe for it, you know? So I'm glad I got the recipe. Let's talk about that opening sequence. Maybe, maybe not. <laughs> if you, shout, hey, come over here, say it in my face. Jorge Masvidal and Leon Edwards kind of got into a little bit of something backstage. Uh, we kind of want to get some more updates on that, so let's hear from Laura Senko. Laura, what can you tell us about the exchange between the two fighters? Well, Karen, as you saw just moments ago, I was in the middle of a live interview with Jorge Masvidal when Leon Edwards walked past through a comment in Jorge's direction having something to do with July, International Fight Week. Jorge said something back. I'm not entirely sure what exactly what was said. Uh, Jorge walked his direction. And what Leon do you want? walked do you want his direction. Like? And then uh, uh, punches were thrown. Actually connected with Leon. And uh, he did receive a cut, uh, received medical attention after that. The men were separated. Security did a great job of keeping things under control back here. A few corners did get involved, uh, uh, but everybody has been separated at this point. Um, no official word on any financial repercussions or anything along that line. And at this point, Leon Edwards has left the building and Jorge Masvidal has been escorted out. Yeah, obviously a great card that yep. extended a little after the main event uh, yep. from what we saw backstage. Can you give us any further information on you know, what happened back there and uh, it seems like maybe those guys are, are gone at this point? Yeah, I mean, you know, I know, I think as much, you guys actually probably know way more than I do considering it's probably out on a variety of platforms. Um, I was just shown the video backstage by Randy um, looks like, you know, altercation feeding from an interview. Uh, not sure how it, was, how it was instigated, not sure the aftermath or if any damage was done. But, yeah, I mean, in situations like this, this sort of underscores the high quality level of our security team. What I've been told was that things uh, were sort of, you know, handled under control, rectified fairly quickly. Um, in situations like this, when we've had incidents like this in the past, First order of business is to make sure that the camps are separated, people go different directions, and everything's calmed down because, you know, as we talked about before, number one priority for us, not only is, you know, our fans when we're in a live event scenario and our athletes, but it's the staff and it's the, you know, kind people that help us and, and host us in this building. So we want to make sure no one gets hurt. Uh, that's where we're at right now. Um, our global security team led by Steve Reed is an extremely capable bunch. and. Um, you know, I'm sure as things progress, we'll feel, you know, pretty confident about, you know, next steps. Do you know why the decision was made to not have them here? Did, was, was there any damage done or, or, or why the decision was made not to have them? So as part of, you know, my kind of previous message, one of the orders of business is to make sure that things calm down as soon as possible. Part of that is ensuring that we get groups separated. And so it just didn't make sense to have anyone in the building, quite frankly. Fair enough. And uh, Masvidal, obviously, you got $100,000 in bonus money tonight. So, but I'm curious, I mean, will there be any sanctions or anything on either one of these guys? I mean, too early to tell. We'll regroup. Um, I mean, this has all happened in, you know, the last 15 minutes or 20 minutes. 
Um, so too early to tell, I'm not sure. I mean, we'll review it, you know, Dana's already looking at it. We'll review everything, all the details uh, over the weekend, Monday morning, and, and take next steps from there.